guys, it's me, Caitlin Johnson, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing my Christmas haul for 2021, and I'm so excited to be doing this. I do just want to mention really quickly that I am very grateful for everything that I got, and I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I just personally like watching these videos, and I know that a lot of you guys like watching them as well. I also want to point out the fact that I am using natural lighting as I don't really have a setup here at home, so I'm sorry if the lighting gets all wonky and stuff. Like, I don't know how to fix that at all. I am so sorry about that. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the what I got for Christmas and we're first starting with stocking stuffers. This is what my stocking looks like, obviously. It's really big. I'm just gonna go right through it. First off, we're gonna start with my sugar cookies from Walmart. Literally, I love those so much. Next, I just got this little warmer guy. It's a sloth and you just put them on your stomach like when you're on your period or something and it's a really nice heating pad. Then I got one of these pop it things because I personally have really bad sensory issues and I do have anxiety. This seems like it's gonna help me a lot just to de-stress and try to relax, I guess. These are just some hair wraps for out of the shower. It's just easier and better on your hair than using a straight up towel. My mom just always gives me a little chocolate bar, so that's what that is. I also just got some Vanilla Bean Noel body lotion, some white chocolate covered Oreos, some more Oreos. Then I got a lens shield for my iPhone, just some Hershey Kisses from my grandma, and I need a lot of those. Some mini snowballs from Cadbury, I love these things. Some jumbo size gum, and then this sour candy fudge thing from the Christmas story. And of course, the traditional little gold coins. And then lastly, I got all of these gift cards. I'm gonna go through them really quick. We've got the Baked Bear, Lavish, The Pants Store, Fruitables, Target, Starbucks, Chipotle, Lululemon, another Target gift card, and then DoorDash. Those are all the gift cards that I got this year. Now let's move on to like the bigger items. I'm gonna start off with my biggest gifts from Christmas. First would be the MacBook that I don't have with me currently. It was just ordered and it's like going through the process or whatever, but it is the MacBook Pro 14 inch, the 2021 version. I'm so excited for that. And then my mom also got me a case for it. I might be getting just a different one, just like a pink one instead of a pink yellow, but she did get me a case for it and it comes with a bunch of stuff. So that was really sweet. Then I also got an iPad for Christmas. This is just the iPad Pro 5th generation, the 12.9 inch. And then I also got the Apple Pencil 2nd generation to go with it and a screen protector to put on it. So I'm gonna show you guys what that all looks like. Here is my iPad. Like I said, it's just the 5th generation iPad Pro. It is literally so adorable. My mom got me this case for it when my dad got me the iPad and everything. But she got me this case for it and then I have my screen protector on and everything. I have had to turn it off to go get it done at Best Buy. I also got it engraved. So this is just what the engraving looks like on the back. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it just says Caitlin Nicole Johnson. Whoa. It just says Caitlin Nicole Johnson with a heart under it and it looks super adorable. Then my dad also got my Apple Pencil engraved. It just says K and J and then it has two hearts. So I am super grateful that I was able to get this for school and everything like that because obviously it's not a cheap item. I'm happy that I got it and I cannot wait to use it back in Alabama. I also got a new phone. I just got the iPhone 13 Pro Max in gold. So this is what it looks like. I have a case on it right now, which is also what I got for Christmas. I got this Casetify case with little cowboy hats on it and like the cow print. I got two more cases from Casetify. I love Casetify so much. I just got this case, which I did have for my old phone, but I just loved it so much that I needed it again. It is just like the hot sand one with Missy on it. And then I also got this one. Obviously it has the plastic on it right now, but it is just a bunch of angels and it's clear and adorable. My mom picked this out for me actually. I'm gonna finish off my electronic stuff and show you guys what I got for my camera that I'm using right now. I have the Canon G7X and then I also have the Canon Rebel T6i, but that one's back in Alabama. So first off, I got a microphone for it. I'm actually using it in this video, so fingers crossed it sounds good. If not, I'm actually so sorry. It is just the Movo one, but it's the pink one for breast cancer and I think it's literally so cute. So I'm gonna 
take a picture to put in to show you guys what it looks like. Don't mind the messy background, sorry about that. <laughs> to go with the microphone, I had to get this little thing. I don't even know what it is, but I had to put it at the bottom so that my microphone could connect to my camera. Then I just got this cute little pink cover case for the camera, but I'm trying to figure out how to use that with the microphone and with everything else for the camera. It is adorable, and if I can't use it, I don't know. It's cute though, it's pink. Lastly, I just got this camera power and care bundle. So basically it comes with two more batteries for this camera and then a battery charging like bank for them, which is really nice because this camera is always dying and I'm always plugging it in and stuff and it's just really annoying. Last but not least, I got this airpods case it is just a bunch of rhinestones and i thought it was really cute and girly so of course i asked for it my camera is having a hard time focusing today so i'm sorry about that <laughs> next i want to move on to shoes just to get them out of the way i got a couple pair of shoes this year and i'm very grateful for them first off i got these pair of on clouds i don't know if you guys know but like these are really popular in alabama i like did not know about them until i got to alabama so of course i asked for a pair this is just what they look like they're just running shoes but they're really cute and so far they're really comfortable i just got the white ones with tan on the lip and everything i thought it was really cute so that's what I did for these. Then I got another pair of Converse. I've been asking for these for so long and I'm so excited that I got them this year. This is just what they look like. They're like the really basic ones that are super popular right now, but I literally love them so much. So I got these and they just have brown on black on the bottoms and they're really comfortable. So I was really surprised about that. I'm really excited about these and I think they're just so freaking adorable. I of course got some Steve Madden heels i literally love steve madden so much you guys don't understand my mom knows this so she got me some steve madden heels these are just for game days in alabama these are just very basic easy to pair with everything else alabama themed the last two pair of shoes i got were both uggs i don't know how uggs are so in style literally all the time like i've been getting uggs for christmas since fifth grade or something but this year i decided to get slippers and said the first pair that i got are these black fuzzy ones and these are the ones that have like the bling on the strap which i thought was so cute and so girly and obviously right up my alley so these are the first pair that i got and these look so comfortable the second pair can be arguably ugly but arguably cute i personally think they're cute my mom kind of disagrees with me on that they are the platform slippers i saw someone wearing these to class and i literally fell in love with them so i asked for them for christmas and i personally think they're adorable i don't know it just really depends on your style but again i like them so i'm gonna wear them now i'm going to move on like beauty stuff because I like to look pretty. First, I'm just gonna start with this bag of Bath & Body Works stuff. This is all these little air freshener things in all of my favorite scents. So like rose water, mahogany teakwood. Oh my God, am I a mahogany teakwood girl? Japanese cherry blossom, whatnot. It's literally just a big bag of them. Like we're not even allowed to have these in our dorm. Meh, it's fine. I'm just gonna get these out of the way really quickly. They're just some Ollie vitamins. Now, hopefully these don't come out as like super bad for you because I got a lot of them. I have always used their sleep vitamins because I cannot sleep for the life of me. I just got another pack of the sleep vitamins and then I got the stress vitamins that they have. These are just all gummies because your girl cannot take pills for the life of her. So, And then I got these probiotic ones because I have little digestive issues. So hopefully these fix that. And then lastly, I just got some women's multivitamins. Us women need our vitamins. Next, I'll just get into hair care. First, I got the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, which is supposedly super good for your hair, and I'm really hoping it is because obviously I have got some long hair that I dye. So I need to keep protecting it. So I just got the shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to use. And I'm really excited for this because I really hope that it does what it says it does. <laughs> this is really random, but I did get a comb because wide tooth combs are really good for your hair. I also got 
this pack of claw clips. So it just comes in a bunch of different colors, but they're like matte feeling. They're like a nice little texture and I'm excited to pair these with my outfits. Hopefully they are big enough to fit my hair because it's said for long thick hair, but um, I don't know how this is gonna fit in here, so we'll see. This is gonna seem a little weird to people that aren't like actually obsessed with their hair. I got this hair sleeping cap and it just looks like this. It's silk, which is good for your hair. And I love this one because it has a little bow on it. And then in the back, it has like a little ruching detail. Hopefully all of my hair fits in this thing. But if not, I'll just have to work with what I got because I'm gonna be sleeping in this every single night to protect my hair. So thank you, mom. Lastly, I think for hair, my mom got me this Bioionic hair straightener. Supposedly, this is really good. My hairdresser actually recommended it to my mom and she got it for me. So hopefully, this is as good as it says for your hair. I just really liked it because it has an automatic shut off and I'm always forgetting to unplug my straightener and whatnot and then I have to like walk all the way back to my dorm to make sure it's off and it's just a hassle because presidential's on like the edge of campus. So now it'll turn off in 60 minutes and I won't have to really worry about it. Now we're going to move on to skincare. I love skincare. I think it's such a fun thing to do. I don't know, like at the end of the night, you like wind down, you do your little skincare and then you get into bed. And I feel personally the prettiest whenever I do my skincare. To get the boring things out of the way, I just got this CeraVe moisturizing cream and then a face moisturizing cream CeraVe. I use CeraVe because my dermatologist recommended it to me so I guess it's good. I mean, it works for my skin, so go for it if you feel as though it'll work for yours. Then I got a gua sha. If you guys don't know what a gua sha is, it's going like crazy on TikTok right now. It helps your face. It makes it prettier, supposedly. But I just got a rose quartz one because I'm obsessed with rose quartz. It's just like the crystal of love. In here is the gua sha, and this is like the directions and all that it does. If you want to pause this, you can go ahead and read everything that the gua sha does, but I'm not gonna read it off to you but anyways this is how my gua sha came i think it is so cute look at the packaging and then it just is in this little baggie but i can store it in this little silk thing i don't know i thought it was cute i'm a sucker for cute packaging so and in here is just my gua sha it just looks like this i'm so excited to start using it i want to get that snatched jawline because i've got such a round baby face mine is from skila rose i don't really know who that is my mom is the one that got it I supposedly it's from london so there you go i also have this nail and cuticle oil stuff because my mom's always gassing on me for my cuticles so i got some of that now for makeup type items this is just from kate Spay and it's a cute little makeup bag and then i got Got this bag from Ulta. I guess it was like a free gift thing because my mom spent enough money. Inside is just literally so many test items. There's so many in here. I'm really excited for this one. It's like a little anti-aging moisturizer. You know that I'm trying to be a MILF when I'm older. And I think the bag is really cute. It's pink and velvet. Now I have a little makeup traveling case. Now for the items that I got. First is just the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I've been literally using this forever. So my mom got me a two pack just because I'm asking for it every single Christmas and it's probably getting a little annoying. I just got these two things from Grande Lash. I got the Lash Enhancing Serum and then I got this leave-in lash conditioner. I have never tried this before but I'm really excited to see like what it does. You're supposed to put it on before your mascara or whatnot so I'm excited for these. Lastly I just got the Hourglass Mascara. I've never tried this before. I'm more of a better than sex user. That sounded really bad but usually a better than sex mascara user but i decided to try the hourglass one so we'll see how that works for me i'm just gonna show you guys i got the victoria's secret bombshell perfume i don't really know if victoria's secret perfumes are that good but i've always been obsessed with the bombshell smell so i don't know my grandma got it for me thank you Oma. then of course i just got some jewelry for christmas first i want to start off with what my grandpa got me because he was super proud of it and i am in love with it 
I need to pull up what this actually is because I keep forgetting the name of it. It's an antique gothic 10K Kinsley & Sons Art Deco Black Onyx Ring. It's literally so pretty. It's just gold and then it has black onyx in the middle. My grandpa got it for me because he knows that I love black and gold and he knows that I love jewelry. So I thought this was super sweet and it's an antique. Like literally made in the 1930s. So I'm gonna be real careful with this one. So thank you, Poppy. My mom got me a bunch of jewelry from a bobble bar. Starting off with the rings, I got three rings. I don't really know which ones these are, so I'm sorry about that. I got two of these rings. I just got a black and a clear one. They just look like this. It's just a black and clear ring. I love these rings and I've been wanting them forever. The last ring that I got is just this one and I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know, it's pink, but that's the ring. And then I also got a bunch of beaded bracelets because this is just a big thing in the South. Whoa, these are really good quality. What in the world? I just got three of these and I'll show them to you really quick. This is the first one. It's just a K on it and obviously I love little initialed jewelry. The last two are the Hamsa and the Evil Eye. So I have like three Evil Eye bracelets, but I haven't had one that is beaded one. So I'm really excited about that. My mom got me this ring from Kate Spade and she thought it was super cute and I think it's adorable. It's just a lot. This is what it looks like. It's just this big pink heart ring. Obviously humongous. My mom picked it out for me because it is like a rose quartz heart ring. And again, I just love rose quartz. And it's big and flashy. I love it, of course. <laughs> then my mom got me this set of rings. It is just K-A-O. Obviously, I'm in Kappa Alpha Theta. So these are just our letters, and I think it's so adorable. The last little jewelry item that I got is just another Theta ring. It just has our crest. It's kind of hard to see, but that's the Kappa Alpha Theta crest with our serious Greek terminology at the bottom. This is really adorable. Now I'm gonna move on to purses and stuff. First, my mom got me this little thing from Stony Clover. I don't even know really what it's called, but it's just one of these mini pouches. This one's in the flamingo color. I'm planning on putting my camera in here whenever I'm just vlogging and stuff. And then she also got me a bunch of letters, just the Stony Clover white letters. I am so excited for this because I'm gonna be putting them on my computer and whatnot. And then I also got some to put on this. I love Stony Clover and I love how this was packaged. I think it's just like so adorable. So yeah, just looks like this. And then she put, I love you to the moon and back on the back of it. So it's kind of cute. And then from the pants store, my mom got me this beaded strap. Now these are so popular. Mine just says, I heart T-Town. Oh my gosh, when I tell you guys, I was so excited to get this because I knew she'd been looking for one for so long. And this one is so freaking adorable. Oh my God, I love it. And then she also got me a little purse to attach it to. It's just a clear purse for me to take into the stadium. Although we're probably gonna get me a different one because this one is kind of cheaply made. She didn't know that. It would just attach to a clear bag and I take it for game days. Then for my miscellaneous items, I just got two little water bottles. First, I got this high Hydromate water bottle. It's one of the ones that like tells you when to drink your water and I think that's kind of cool It just looks like this. It has all the times on it It has the little strap and whatnot and of course I got the color pink. Are we surprised? Then my mom got me the super cute Starbucks cup But she had someone design it so it just says roll tide on it and then it has a bunch of stickers Alabama crimson tide. This is so cute and I can't wait to take it to Starbucks and like get my drink while I'm at work and whatnot the last bit of items that I have to show you guys are all of the clothes that I got. This might take a quick minute to go through. Now the sun is practically going down, so this lighting's really bad, so I'm sorry about that. The first things I'm gonna show you are my Theta items. So first are these adorable pair of pants that my mom got off of Etsy. Just this gray pair of sweatpants with our letters down the side, obviously in pink. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this with like a pink sweatshirt. Next is this this pink and yellow sweatshirt and it just says Camp Alpha Theta and then on the back it just says all you need is Theta. Then the last Theta sweatshirt I got is just this one. It has like Camp Alpha Theta in the front and then on the back of it it has this cute little phone and it just says Camp Alpha Theta since 1870. I thought it was a kind of like a Y2K type of style so obviously 
that's adorable. Then I just got these two sweatshirts. First one is from the soup store. It's just a University of Alabama one. So it just looks like this. And then on the back, it has our A with Big Al in it. I think that it is adorable. Then, oh my God, am I excited for this? If you know me, you know that Ethan Klein and the H3 podcast is like my favorite YouTuber and favorite thing to watch. And you know that Ela Klein is his wife and she has her own brand and it is called Teddy Fresh. So I got myself a Teddy Fresh sweatshirt. I already have some other things from Teddy Fresh, but this went on sale and oh, I love this sweatshirt so, so much. And it's just so hefty and nice. It's Teddy Fresh on the front. This is just her quilted sweatshirt and this thing is literally always sold out. So as soon as I got my hands on that, I was beaming with joy. Now I'm gonna show you guys the stuff that I got from the pants store. My mom went to the one in Tuscaloosa and got me some things. My camera battery just died and then I opened up my extra batteries that I just got for Christmas and luckily they were already charged so we can keep on going. The first thing that I got from the pants store is just this cute pink sweat set. Here's the top. It is just a cropped sweatshirt thing and then the bottoms are just these pink sweatpants. Then my mom got me this sweater. It just looks like this. It has like the little frayed edges at the bottom and whatnot and it's kind of big kind of cute like it i got this sweater it's like an oversized type of sweater there's just something about it that i'm obsessed with i got this other sweat set and this one is just in this blue color so here's the top and then here are the bottoms they just look like so and lastly from the pants store my mom got me this cropped top and I love crop tops that have the little cinching at your waist. It just makes you look that much better. I think the rest of the clothes are from Shein, but I could be wrong. Here's all that I got first. I just got all of these, which are all the same shirt, just in different colors. They just look like this. They're just cropped sweaters, and I think they go off the shoulder. I honestly don't know how they're supposed to look, but this is what they look like. Really cute to just throw on and go to class. So I just got this brown color, this maroon type of deep wine color just a white one and then lastly i just got a gray one of one of those then i got this little top it's just one of those tops where you wear like something like a tank top under it and it, like shows a little bit or you can just go for it i mean i guess you could wear it i don't know but it's just brown and cute then my mom was really iffy about this one. I'm kind of iffy about this, but it just looks like this. It's like one of those varsity jackets, but she got it because it has an A on it and she thought I could wear it. It's like a game day or something, which we'll see what I do with it. Maybe I can make it work. Me being me, I got another pink cropped sweatshirt thing. This one's just from Shein. It's literally the same exact thing as the pants store, just like a little bit of a different shade of pink. And then I got two black little hoodies. This one's my favorite. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Obviously it has like this like detailing right here. It looks like it's just gonna cinch in your waist really cutely. So I have this one and then I have this one. The same little idea, just a little bit different and it's cropped. <laughs> then I have all of these sweaters. First, I just got this pink sweater. This one is literally so freaking soft and you're gonna see a thing how they're all cropped. This one is just like this purplish color. It kind of just like one of those vests that like your history teacher would wear, but I think it's cute. Then I got a couple of the same type of sweater per usual. So they just look like this, just a deep V kind of cut, but it's like a sweater material, obviously super cute. Um, I just got the red one, cream colored one, this light brown one. Then I got this sweater. It's just one of those like crossed ones. I got a similar one of these last year and it just didn't work. So I'm hoping I can figure out how to make this one work. I got this vest type of deal. Again, giving me history teacher vibes, but I think I can pull it off if I put like a bralette or something under it. Another one of this like purplish pink colors. Pink again super cute then i got this blue sweater looks like so big and oversized then lastly i got this black and white sweater so that is actually the end of my christmas haul that was a lot of stuff and i'm sorry about it we finished so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe down below follow all my socials are always on the screen and linked in the description box i hope you guys had an amazing christmas or happy holidays whatever you celebrate and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.